professionals who do not require a Canadian work permit. Hello to all Vikings and welcome to your favorite channel Vicky K channel. We hope you are doing great. Before we start the video make sure you have already subscribed so you don't miss any good information to come. Don't hesitate to share the video. In this new episode of Vikings News we will talk about IT professionals who do not need a Canadian work permit. Did you know that if you can be considered a business visitor, you do not need a work permit to come to Canada? Some technology professionals may be allowed to come to Canada as business visitors, which means they do not need a work permit to enter the country. A business visitor is a foreign national who comes to Canada to conduct business. Since they are not entering the labor market during their trip, no work permit is required. A business visitor is a person who comes to Canada to engage in international business activities without directly entering the Canadian labor market. For example, a business visitor may come to Canada to meet with representatives of companies that do business with their country, to observe workplaces, because a Canadian company has invited him, her to take training on, asterisk how to use a product, asterisk sales, asterisk other functions related to a business transaction. They do not need a work permit to come to Canada. The business visitor must prove that their main source of income and head office is outside of Canada. You are not considered a business visitor, and you may need a work permit, if you are doing work for a Canadian company. For example, you are an employee sent by a foreign company to perform a contract with a Canadian company. Business visitors should not be confused with business people. Business people come to work in Canada under a free trade agreement. To be considered a business visitor, you must demonstrate the following. You plan to stay in Canada for less than six months. You do not intend to enter the Canadian labor market. Your principal place of business and your main source of income and profit are outside Canada. You have documentation to support your application, and you meet Canada's basic entry requirements, including a valid travel document such as a passport, sufficient funds for your stay and return, a plan to leave Canada at the end of your visit, and you do not pose a criminal, security or health risk to Canadians. Information technology workers may be considered as business visitors in the following circumstances. After sales service. After sales service occurs in cross-border transactions. These situations occur when a Canadian company has purchased a product from a foreign company and the foreign company is required to provide service or perform maintenance on the product. The foreign technical workers may have to travel to Canada to perform this work. The product may be complex technical equipment or computer system software. It may be a case where the maintenance of the product requires specialized knowledge that only the foreign company's employees know. Therefore, the workers would be eligible for entry as business visitors. Guest speakers slash workshop participants. Another category of business visitors are those who enter Canada to speak at a seminar or participate in a workshop. With the ever-increasing role of technology in today's modern world, the number of seminars or workshops on a wide range of technology-related topics has increased significantly. As a result, non-Canadian experts may be allowed to enter Canada as business visitors so that Canadians can benefit from their specialized knowledge on a given topic. Another category of business visitor that is often encountered in the technology field is that of individuals who enter Canada for training at the Canadian branch of a multinational company. The use of certain equipment or software may require proprietary knowledge specific to the company in question. There is often no substitute in terms of people who can provide training on such equipment or software. In such cases, there is no choice but to bring the foreign national into Canada for training as a business visitor. Do you need a lawyer? Although the hiring of a lawyer is at your discretion, immigration authorities have broad discretion in assessing persons entering Canada. As a result, People who should be considered business visitors may be denied entry because the border officer believes a work permit is required. That's it for this video, did you find the topic interesting? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching we hope you enjoyed it and didn't forget to subscribe and like this little video. See you soon for a new episode of Vikings News.